Earl or Earl? Earl or Earl? Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a new video. And what are we going to talk about today? Toy cars. And not just toy cars. Toy cars from the 70s and 80s. And not just toy cars from the 70s and 80s. Toy cars from the 70s and 80s based on movies or television shows. Now, growing up in the 80s, I guess maybe even growing up today, you always had your fan camps. You know, you had, hey, I like Coke. Hey, I like Pepsi. Or, hey, I like Nintendo. Well, I only play Turbo Graphics 16. And when it came to die cast toy cars, there was two camps Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. And they were basically the same, although I always leaned toward Hot Wheels, but some people leaned toward Matchbox. But there was another toy company in between that didn't get much love, sadly, because they were making some of the best stuff. And we're talking about die cast toy company. Earl or Earl. I don't know how you say this. I, mean, I never heard it said out loud before. I thought it was Earl. Someone once told me it was Earl in the comment section. So whatever you want to hear, you can hear it. Uh, but they did t toy cars that were based on TVs and movies. Something Matchbox and Hot Wheels wasn't doing at the time. And they went out and did something that you wouldn't even think they would have done back then. Here's a hint. We'll get to one right now. But he runner. But we'll get to that in a second. Let's take a look at some of these cars they made. There was nothing bigger than the A-Team back in the 80s. And you guessed it, Earl, Earl, whatever, made cars based on the A-Team. Of course, you had the A-Team van, but that wasn't all you had. Look at this. You had some other cars also from the line. The A-Team. Was anything more badass in the 80s than the A-Team? At least the first couple of seasons. And then, you know, it kind of got stale. But there was another show that wanted to be the A-Team, but sadly it was nowhere even close to the A-Team. The only thing that made it a little better than the A-Team was that it had Ernest Borgnine in it. And anything with Ernest Borgnine is going to have, you know, 10 cool factor points right there. And of course we're talking Airwolf. Remember that? The television show about a helicopter. I know, it doesn't. It just sounds exciting saying it. I can, I can imagine the pitch meeting. Hey, we're going to do a television show starring Ernest Borgnine and... It's going to be about a helicopter. Ooh, that just makes me want to go watch it right now. Airwolf, check this out. Now, there's not many of them here. I mean, you had the Airwolf helicopter, and there's old Ernest Borgnine right there on the picture. And you had a three-pack that came with a Jeep and two helicopters. Two helicopters in one package? Could you ask for anything more as a kid? I doubt that. Now, I teased it, so let's talk about it. Blade Runner. Did you even know they made any toys related? Did you even know they made any toys related to Blade Runner back in the 80s? Back when the movie came out? I know it became a cult hit and everything, and years later, people was like, I love Blade Runner. But yeah, they made cars based on Blade Runner. As you can see, there's four different cars you could get. Four different ones. Not just a Decker car, but you had his ground car, and you had his chase car. And you had a police car. And believe it or not, you even have Rachel's car. Yes, Rachel's car. And you have a box set in case you don't want to buy them all one at a time. You get them all at once. Blade Runner, who would have thought? Now, when it came to making cars based on movies, I don't know why the big guys didn't jump on this. Why Matchbox or Hot Wheels wasn't all over this. Because it was just right for a, a toy car line. Cannonball Run. That's right, the Burt Reynolds classic that also starred Dom DeLuise. Yep, how could they? How could you miss with this Cannonball Run car line? And here we are with a bunch of different cars. We got Dom DeLuise and his ambulance. How about that? That's funny. We even got a Sammy Davis Jr. Ferrari. Yeah, Sammy Davis Jr. We even got a Klinger car. Klinger! You know, the dude from MASH. And then there was the Hawaiian Tropic Stock car. And I think that's Mel Tellus on the box. I think that is. And I think the other guy might be Terry Bradshaw. And, of course, you had a box set if you just didn't want to waste your money buying one at a time. Now, I cannot talk about these toy cars without talking about probably at least the line I was most familiar with as a kid. Because a lot of these I didn't know about. But this one, I knew about. The Dukes of Hazard. Because when it came to Dukes of Hazard merchandise, I knew about it. I was the boss hog of Dukes of Hazzard merchandise. Now, I did a video a couple of days ago at the Dukes of Hazzard Museum. I wasn't that crazy about it. But when it came to toys of Dukes of Hazzard, I either had it or I sure wanted it. And I had a few of these cars. And check them out. 
They did a lot in this line. Of course, you have the General Lee. I know I shouldn't be showing these photos. I'm going to get demonetized. But these other ones, I didn't even know about it as a kid. I didn't know they did the Duke Boys on a motorcycle. Yes, a Duke Boy on a motorcycle. I would have went crazy for that car. Or how about Boss Hogg's Dragon Fly car? I don't even know Boss Hogg has such a car. If I do remember his Cadillac, you could get it right here. And, of course, there was a bunch of theme packs also that came with a bunch of cars all in one pack. And there was even a racing set. Yes, a racing set. Besides playing Star Wars, Dukes of Hazzard was one of the most fun things to play in the 80s. I mean, not just playing with the action figures that Mego did. You could have these cars rolling around crashing into each other. You could take your Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars, have them crash into the General Lee. It was a lot of fun. And then when you went outside, what? <laughs> you got the belt because your dad caught you sliding across the hood like you were Bo Duke. We all done it. To be honest, you rolled the window down to and climbed through the door. You didn't want to open the door. What, you some kind of square? You open doors? No, you go through the window. You're a Duke boy. And another great show in the 80s was one that starred Lee Majors. No, not Six Million Dollar Man. That was in the 70s. We're talking the 80s here. And he's the unknown stuntman that makes Eastwood look so fine. We're talking the Fall Guy. Oh, there's so many of these. And if you watch my video of the Dukes of Hazzard Museum, I saw a Fall Guy's car and I really wanted it. But they wanted way too much for it. But here it is. They did kind of a big truck, as you can see here. But they did some small ones, too. You got the Pontiac Firebird. I don't know who drove that. Maybe it was Howie. I'm not really sure. And then you had the GMC pickup truck. This is the one I want. I have to track this one down. That is awesome. Now, that was another great show in the 80s that people seem to forget. You don't really hear anyone talk about this much, but they made a toy line of cars from it. Hardcastle and McCormick. You know, starring that guy that I've never seen in anything else and the guy that was the dad on Family Affair. That's right, Hardcastle and McCormick. If I remember right, it was, I don't know, Hard McCormick, one of them, the guy from Family Affair was like a judge, and he sends the other guy to be his butler. No, I think that was Seinfeld. He sends the other guy to be his own private, I don't know, it was, it was a crazy concept. It was a crazy concept. And here they are. They're both the Coyote, but one of them is a pullback. Yep, pull it back, let it rip. They also did an RC one. Now, we know Kenner made a Knight Rider figure and car, but do you know Earl, or Earl? Earl also did one also. Huh, you don't believe me, do you? Look, here it is. Knight Rider. And there he is, the Knight Rider 2000. They also did one that was a bigger scale one. Right here. See? I don't lie to you. Now, CBS was having a huge hit with Magnum P.I. So the other networks, you know, they wanted their big hit also. I don't know who it was. Maybe it was NBC. It was probably ABC. Sounds like something that ABC would do. They wanted to have their own Magnum P.I. So what did they do? They hired a Tom Selleck lookalike and named it Matt Houston. And here he is, mustache and all. And they did two cars. This one right here and the Ford Bronco. Was anything more badass in the 80s than having a Bronco? Not much, not much. But junk man, all these cars are based on action movies and stuff. What about the really cool stuff like a toy line of cars based on a boxer? Okay, you want Rocky car? Here you go. I think it's from Rocky 3. Rocky. Yep, a Rocky car from Rocky 3. I didn't know they made this either. It's pretty cool. It even says Rocky on the door. Not sure if that's in the movie, but I hope so. Speaking of movies, what about one of the best comedies of the 80s? I think it was 80s. Maybe it was 79, but I think it was 80s. The Blues Brothers. <laughs> one of the only good movies based on a Saturday Night Live character. Am I right? Well, they did cars also. Yeah, there it is. You have the famous police car. They also did these in two different scales, and one was chrome. If you throw it at a wall and it bounces back, it's a rubber biscuit. They even did toy cars based on 80s cartoons. Yes, shirt tails. Here it is. And honestly, I don't know what shirt tails are. I mean, I heard of it, but this is more kind of a girly cartoon in the early 80s, I think. I didn't watch it. I was cool. I was into the Smurfs, and this looks like a Smurf ripoff. But there they are, in case you were a fan. Now, this one I have to talk about. I don't know if it's a car or not, but I just want to talk about it. Because this is a cartoon for years. I couldn't remember the name of it. I remember it come on USA Network, maybe part of the Cartoon Express. Who knows? And I couldn't remember. I remember it had something to do with Olympics. And every time I tried to ask somebody, they would say, That's Laugh Olympics! I was like, no, it's not Laugh Olympics. This is about a little kid. And it comes to find out, I believe the show is called Sport Billy. I don't hear many people talk about Sport Billy. Who remembers Sport Billy? I do. I, I, I know you do. I mean out there in the YouTube audience. Who remembers Sport Billy? Well, they made a diecast car from it, so it must have been pretty popular. Here it is. I don't know what this is. It looks like a submarine or a blimp. I'm not really sure. 
And I don't remember this being on Sports Billy, but I guess it was. But I just wanted to talk about Sport Billy. There he is, Sport Billy. Now, there's no way I could do this video while talking about it here. What do you get when you take two of the best detectives, mix him with a nerd that can make his own robot, and solve crime? What do you call it? You call it what everybody else would call it, Riptide. Yep, Riptide! One of the greatest shows of the 80s. Where is the Riptide love? We need more Riptide. I mean, this show's got Perry King in it. Right there is King, Perry King. <sighs> Perry King. Let's take a look at the cars. They got the 1960 Corvette, and we all remember that, but what we remember was that big, weird-looking helicopter, and here it is, Riptide, the helicopter. You could also get it in a pack that came with an extra car, a truck. That's right, a truck. Move over, Mad Houston. Hey, you want to bring back some old 80s classic television shows? It's time to bring back Riptide. And I'm talking about bringing back Riptide. I'm not talking about recasting it with an all-female cast. It's time to bring back Riptide. Anyway, that's a look at some die-cast toy cars made by Earl, 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 or Earl. I don't know. Makes me want to go on eBay and search some of these. Did you have any of them? Let me know in the comments below if you did. And until the next video, thumb up this one so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.